Welcome to Lesson 5A of ATC Pro. This lesson will demonstrate how to handle one arriving aircraft at the Albuquerque facility. I will introduce some new commands and how to use more map overlays with arriving aircraft. First of all, let's get a new scenario set up on the duty desk. Make the following settings. For the facility, Albuquerque, Tracon. For the weather, east flow, wind 080 degrees at 5 knots few clouds. For traffic, departures, set all of them to 0%. For arrivals, set commercial to 100% and everything else to 0%. For other, set to 0%. For the position, now set north to user control and south to computer control. Set your current time and day to 11.22 on Saturday. Click the Begin Your Shift button. When the program finishes loading, go ahead and pause the sim to rearrange the pop-up windows on the scope for our controlling session. On the COM panel, click on the TX cell and RX cell buttons on the first row, if not already on. You can close this window to get it out of the way if you want. On the left side of the scope, you will see the Flight Information Strip window. Resize the window to take up less space by dragging the arrows that appear at the top and bottom of the window. You can move the smaller window to an out-of-the-way location, like over here on the right. In the blue Communications History window, on the lower left, you can resize this window too to take up less space in the same way as the Strip window, by dragging the arrows. OK, unpause the sim and I'll explain what's going on. The first thing I want to do is observe the briefing so we know that the scope is under our control. If you forget to listen to the briefing and take control of the scope, the controller on duty will continue giving commands to the aircraft in his sector, and that can get very confusing. Albuquerque Airport is VFR, operating east flow. Altimeter is 3021, fully staffed. Runways, 8, 1, 2, 3 in use. OK, your scope. Notice here is SkyWest 4462 coming along showing a, a Charlie as he is under the control of the center controller. Let's go ahead and again and pause so we can make some changes in the DCB. Click on the range button and roll your mouse until it shows a range of 24. Click again to lock it in. Click on maps then click on map 6 to show the minimum vector altitudes or MVA. Notice these numbers that stand for altitudes and hundreds of feet. We want to make sure we are not descending an aircraft below the minimum altitude that is safe. Unpause for now and notice SkyWest 4462's data tag is white and flashing. That means a center controller is trying to hand him off to us. Click on the Charlie of the data tag and it will change to a November for our position. Now a flight strip will pop up in the strip window under arrivals. Albuquerque Approach Sky West 4462 is with you level at 15000 with information Charlie. Flight Sky West 4462 has just called us up to say he is on our frequency and that he has listened to the current ATIS information broadcast with the letter Charlie that contains basic weather conditions, active runways, etc. Now we can let him know he is with us and what runway to expect, which is runway 8 since the wind is from the east. I will give that command now. Guy West 4462, expect runway 8. Expect 8 Sky West 4462. Pause the sim again so we can set up a couple more maps. Click on the Maps button, then click on ARRDEP button, then Kilo Alpha Bravo Quebec. Notice on the flight strip it says Lobo, which is the name of the arrival route that he is following. Click on map 405, which is the Lobo 3 standard terminal arrival route or star, that will let us know what route he is taking coming in. Now click on approach, then Kilo Alpha Bravo Quebec, and then map number 208, which is an approach diagram for runway 8. Click on done. Now click on shift then PTL length that stands for predicted track line. Roll your mouse until it shows a 1.0.
This displays a line in front of the data tag that indicates where the aircraft will be in one minute, and it makes it easier to see where the aircraft is headed when giving turn commands to compass headings, also known as vectors. You should be aware that being able to pause the sim and set up maps, routes, and PTL settings is possible in a simulation with very little traffic and other things going on. At a more realistic level of traffic, you will rarely have time for this, so it is good to get very familiar with how to set up your scope and save your preference settings. Unpause the sim now to continue. When we get the handoff from center, SkyWest 4462 is at 15,000 feet. After crossing our airspace boundary, we give an initial descent that is above the MVA, which is 84 or 80,400 feet. Let's give him an initial descent to 11,000. I'll give the command now. Guy West 4462, descend and maintain 11,000. Descending to 11,000, Sky West 4462. Next, we want to give him a heading so he'll be in a good position to line up for the runway of the airport. We can give him the heading along this line here, which is 1 tree 5. I will give the command now. SkyWest 4462, turn right heading 1 tree 5. Heading 1 tree 5, SkyWest 4462. Note that it is best to give the turn direction, not just to say, turn heading 1 tree 5. I have trouble sometimes to know instantly what turn direction to speak, so one technique that helps me to visualize which turn direction to use when an aircraft is pointing towards me on the scope is to turn my head slightly in the proper direction and squeeze my right or left hand. Maybe that will be helpful to you. When he crosses the next line of the MVA, we can give the next step of the descent which can't be lower than 75 or 7,500 feet. Since the field elevation of Kilo Alpha Bravo Quebec is 5,355 feet, we want to give an approach altitude that is roughly 3,000 feet above ground level, or AGL. We will use 8,000 as the final approach altitude here. I will give the descent command now. Guy West 4462, descend and maintain 8,000. Descending to 8,000 Sky West 4462. An alternative to giving vectors is to command him to go directly to any named waypoint or navigation fix, such as the Albuquerque VOR here, which is on the final approach path to runway 8. I'll give that command now so you can practice. SkyWest 4462, proceed direct Albuquerque. Direct Albuquerque, SkyWest 4462. When he gets to the point where the bottom of the data tag is about touching this extended center line of runway 8, we give him a command to turn onto the final approach heading of 080. I'll give that command now. Sky West 4462, turn left heading 080. Turn left heading 080, Sky West 4462. Because the visibility is clear, we will be giving Sky West 4462 a clearance for a visual approach. We need to make sure he knows what direction to look for the airport, how far away it is, and that he has the airport in sight before giving the visual approach clearance. Airport in sight. I'll Sky give those commands now. Guy West 4462, the airport is 11 o'clock, 10 miles. Report the airport in sight. The Sky West 4462, airport in sight. Now that he has the airport in sight, we can give the visual approach clearance. Sky West 4462, cleared visual approach runway 8. Cleared for the visual for 8 Sky West 4462. 
On the approach, his data tag will turn green when he has been auto-accepted by the tower. Once you are sure he is lined up on the visual approach for runway 8, give the pilot the change to the tower's frequency. Guy West 4462, contact Albuquerque Tower on 120.tree. Albuquerque Tower on 120.3, Sky West 4462. When the flight strip disappears from the flight strip window, you know Sky West 4462 is not owned by you anymore. That's it for this lesson. You have successfully controlled your first arrival into Albuquerque. In the next lesson, 5B, I will demonstrate the use of keyboard commands for the exact same scenario of one arrival, SkyWest 4462. You can click the X in the upper right to end the lesson.